Okay, this was the simple form of just using the circle map and building the sentences repetitively. Jellyfish, jellyfish. I want to show you um, a more challenging way. If this was easy for your child, a way to challenge them a little bit more. Same sentence, so I just use purple instead. So if I look over here, we'll go to the have. Jellyfish have, and we did no brain the first time, but this time we can say jellyfish have no brain. And if you want to list more than one, you can put comma. You don't have to put no again, blood. And then we'll use the word or bones. So we'll come down here and we're going to do again. This time we're going to say jellyfish. This is just showing how you can link more than one of those words under the no. They can pick more than one. Jellyfish. And then again, finger space, sight word have. And we said no, finger space, brain. And instead of stopping there like we did here, we stopped and just put a period. We're gonna put a comma because we're gonna list more than one thing that they don't have because they have several things that they don't have. And so then we will write blood and I can squeeze blood in here, so I will. You just have to make sure you write your letters nicely and squeeze those letters together. Mm. So jellyfish have no brain, blood, and then down here we're going to do or. Remember, this is not an uppercase because it's still part of the sentence. This does not stop your sentence. It's a comma. That's why this is a challenge sentence. Or, and then I'll put bones. Um, another reason why this is a challenge sentence, it's difficult for kindergartners to understand where their sentence stops. They always want it to stop perfectly at the end of a line. So this is complex. Jellyfish have no brain, comma, blood, or bones, period. And then our last sentence, since we did have, we'll go down to R. Um, actually, we don't have to go down to R. And they're anywhere between... 92 and 97% water. A lot of times you'll find 95% water. Anyway, so let's not go down here. Let's go back up here. Another way you can challenge them is this just says long tentacles. This says tentacles that sting. So maybe they want to say both and they want to say jellyfish have long tentacles that sting. So we can do that. Again, we don't start down here. We start here. And we're just going to put jellyfish again. And if they know how to spell jellyfish the right way, they can. If not, just keep it phonetically. So now we're going to do jellyfish. And I said we're going to go back up and do half. So... Okay, jellyfish have, I'm gonna come down here. We're not saying no, because remember only these were the no's with the underline in purple. We're going over here. So we're gonna say um, long Okay, long and then we said tentacles that sting. Now that's gotta fit it in here, so make sure they're not writing too big. Okay. If they are, just make sure that they're squishing their letters together because sometimes they get spaced out too much. Don't erase, just remind them that maybe they're writing their letters a little too big. Jellyfish have long tentacles that sting. I gotta hold my paper. I'm gonna show you a surprise too. That. And on this one, instead of putting a period, stinging hurts. 
we're gonna put an exclamation point because that shows excitement. Okay, so let's see. Um, this jellyfish is purple. Jellyfish have no brain, blood, or bones. Jellyfish have long tentacles that sting. Okay, now you get a fun little art lesson. So again, let's look really quick at the comparison here. I think it looks better if you can see it like this. So this was the simple one. Jelly, this jellyfish is pink. Jellyfish have no brain. Jellyfish are not fish. Here is more complex, challenging your child. Okay? So if you have a white crayon handy, you get a little extension bonus activity. White crayon and blue watercolor. So this is called Resist Art. I'm gonna just take my white crayon really quick. I'm just gonna color in my jellyfish white. And then around my jellyfish, I'm just gonna put some, oh, just some little white circles. You'll see. It's like magic. <laughs> okay, and so then all you're gonna do is just take if you have watercolor, it's just cool, but if not, don't worry about it. You're just gonna go over the top. And what do we see? Can you see the bubbles? So that's something you can do as a bonus activity is just to do some resist art with so some white crayon and you can hide some bubbles in your water. So I hope you enjoyed your quick little lesson on jellyfish and I can't wait to see your writing.